Falcon is in countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. What do ants, plants, a remote implant, and brine shrimp all have in common? They're all part of investigations sponsored by the International Space Station U.S. National Laboratory, launching on SpaceX's 23rd Commercial Resupply Services mission. Moreover, these projects will be supporting the validation of the Faraday Research Facility, a new commercial research facility operated by ProxOps that is flying on this mission and will provide additional avenues of experimentation for future investigators. Specifically, the Girl Scouts of Citrus, in conjunction with Space Kids Global, will launch three different student-led investigations, all evaluating the characteristics of living organisms in low Earth orbit. One experiment will examine microgravity's effects on ant behavior. Another will look at plant growth in space, and the last will explore how brine shrimp move and behave in the low Earth orbit environment. A team of researchers from Houston Methodist Research Institute is also launching an investigation on this mission that will utilize the Faraday Research Facility. This team has a long and exciting history of space-based R&D in areas ranging from nanofluidics to drug delivery technology development, rodent research, and advanced materials. These research projects have led the team to its latest investigation that will aid in the development of a tunable drug delivery implant. The implant can be remotely controlled to release specific amounts of drug, providing individualized treatment for patients on Earth. These are only a few of the ISS National Lab sponsored projects launching on SpaceX CRS-23. Research sponsored by the National Lab aims to bring value to our nation and drive a robust market in low Earth orbit. To learn more about all investigations sponsored by the ISS National Lab flying on this mission, please visit our mission overview page at issnationallab.org. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And liftoff. Cargo Dragon takes flight, continuing a busy year of deliveries to a crew of seven aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. here we're coming up on max Q this is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures max Q. and there was the call up from max Q we actually throttled down the Merlin engines in preparation for that event Coming up are five more events in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, first stage flip, second engine start one, and then the boost back burn on the first engine stage will begin. begin. Main engine cutoff, also known as MECO, is where all nine M1D engines on the Falcon 9 first stage will shut down. This is followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. From there, the first stage will flip to prepare for uh, re-entry and landing a few minutes later um, and the 
Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Dragon to low Earth orbit, and that's also known as SES-1. The first stage will then begin its boost back burn. Uh, that is the first of three burns needed to land on our drone ship today. The first of that, those five events, main engine cutoff, is coming up in about 10 seconds. Main engine cut off. Age separation confirmed. Impact ignition. Stage one boost back burn startup. Okay, those were those five events. A lot happening on screen. Main engine cutoff, stage separation. The first stage performed a flip. Uh, second stage on the right-hand side of the screen uh, ignited its Merlin vacuum engine. And on the left-hand side of the screen, we're in the middle of that first stage boost back stage burn. One, Looks burn like start we are up. getting some really cool views. Um, stage uh, one, of boost the back, shut down. Contrails and being there is the beginning the of the entry burn. Three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing down Stage, stage one, entry burn, shut down. Stage one, landing burn, start up. A single engine, the center engine, engine number nine, has relit in preparation for landing. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. Uh, and that is the 90th successful landing for an orbital class rocket and the very first for our new drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. That is a beautiful thing to see and a great way to start off today's mission. Tico. Uh, we should have video of Dragon separation from the top of the second stage. It'll give us a nice view into Dragon's unpressurized cargo trunk. And when this Dragon makes its way to the International Space Station, it will be joining the Crew-2 vehicle Endeavor, currently on orbit and attached to the International Space Station. It's going to be super cool to see two Dragons docked to the International Space Station once again. And again, for cargo, we will be delivering over 4,800 pounds of science, research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware to the orbiting, orbiting laboratory and its crew. This includes the brine shrimps and ants that we had talked about earlier in the broadcast. Another upgrade is how we dock. Before, we uh, needed Dragon to be berthed, which is where a robotic arm from the International Space Station reaches out and grabs Dragon and will attach it to the International Space Station. Now, Dragon can autonomously dock uh, using a centerline camera and LIDAR, which is an acronym for Light Detection and Ranging. And so this uh, autonomous docking sequence is what Dragon will go through uh, in the short future um, as it uh, continues to make its way towards the International Dragon Space Station. Operation confirmed. And that is a great view of Dragon separating uh, Dragon from separation the top confirmed. of the second stage. Thanks, Shaniqua. That's going to wrap up our launch coverage of SpaceX's 23rd Commercial Resupply Services mission. Cargo Dragon is on course to dock to the International Space Station at about 11 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. We will have live coverage of rendezvous and docking beginning at 9.30. In the meantime, you can learn even more about this mission on NASA.gov Commercial Resupply. Thank you for joining us, and we'll leave you with a replay of today's gorgeous launch. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and liftoff. Cargo Dragon takes flight, continuing a busy year of deliveries to a crew of seven aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. Dragon is in countdown. Falcon 9 is in startup. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch.